Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jyotsna from Daffodils Child Development Center, Hyderabad. Today, let's discuss on how to differentiate language delays between a normally developing kid and a kid with autistic spectrum disorders. Generally in our OP, we see many parents who get confused between these two categories of kids. Generally, they are worried that even if the child has a regular language delay also, parents are getting panicked about the autism spectrum disorders. They are asking us lot many questions. Is this language delay related to autism or is it a, just a specific language impairment? SLI is nothing but a language delay with normal development. Okay. So today let's see the four major differentiating factors between the language delays in a typically or normally developing kid and a child with autistic spectrum disorders. The first and foremost thing would be the communicative interactions. That means generally a normally developing kid with language delays tends to share their interest with the parents or with the caregivers in the peer group. And you could see a normal peer interactions in a kid with language delay but a normally developing kid. Whereas the communication is predominantly need based when it comes to the autistic children. They generally come to the parents only if they are hungry only or if they need some of the objects and their communication would be restricted to differential cry. And the second differentiating factor would be response to name call. 99% of the time a normally developing kid even with language delay would respond to a name call. Even if the child is busy engaged in some other activity also, at least they will look up and look up it to the parents face whenever we call your name to them. But children with autism might be busy in their own world. They might not even realize that someone is calling me. Even if I come closer to them and sit beside them and call their name three to four times also, Many of the times parents complain that these children doesn't even respond to it. But whereas if you play their favorite music or the favorite rhyme in the TV, they would come running even from the next room. The third factor could be comprehension of the language. When we say comprehension, it's the understanding ability of the language. I'm not talking about their mental ability. I'm just mentioning about the understanding ability of language. Generally, if we have to remember or recollect some word, we need to first form an association between the word and that particular object. For example, this is called a watch, right? So I'm mentally, I need to have some mental image in my mind. The moment I say a red apple, or I'm sorry, the moment I say the apple, immediately the red apple flashes in your brain, right? So that is called a word association to the word and the object but these associations will be seen very prominently in a normally developing kid with language delays for example if i tell the child or instruct the child to pass on my phone a normally developing kid with language delay will be able to do it at least he will try to go and reach to the object because these mental images would be formed in these children but whereas if the child has language delay due to autism, since they are busy in their own world and happy with themselves, they might not even pay attention to what's happening in the environment. So as a reason to that, these word associations also will not be formed strongly in these children with autism. So as a result, even if I ask the child, better please pass on my phone, these kids might not be able to perform the task. At times, they might not even pay attention to you that you are talking to them. And the fourth one would be in terms of the expression. It could be expression of their emotion, expression of their need or expression of their wanting to play with something. A normally developing kid with language delay will be able to use lot of gestures in order to communicate that he needs something or if he wants to play with the parent or whatever it could be. Whereas a child with autism might not be able to convey this. Generally what they use is differential cry for communication. 
if the child is thirsty he might cry in a different way or he might become a little cranky and another thing which we see in children with autism is they generally come and drag the parent to the cupboard but they will not be able to open their index finger and point to the specific object so it clearly says that there is a delay in comprehension as well as expression also your response to name call and communicative scenarios are also would be very limited in children with autism spectrum disorders whereas or when compared to a language delayed kid just with a normal development thank you i hope you all understood this if you like the video please like it and subscribe to our channel lot more are on the way See you soon.